Okay, I just got the uh, crankshaft back from the machine shop and uh, I'm feeling it. It doesn't feel a lot different than it did before. They polished the, uh, the crankshaft down some, but uh, it really feels quite the same. Uh, I, I hope it's the clearance I need of 0 .0015 at least. But, um, I don't know. If I was just going by feeling, it, uh, it really, it really does not feel, well, except this one. This one is moving freely. Yes. This one, no. So this one seems to move really easy, but this one, not as so much. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to check with the plastic gauge and uh, see what it looks like. So um, after the machine shop, I uh, wanted to test it with the plastic gauge again, and uh, this is... Uh, can't probably see it, but um, point zero it should be point zero zero one five minimum, and I am at a little more than point zero zero one five. I mean, it's kind of in between point zero zero one and point zero zero one five on this this first uh, first bearing for this rod. This one's coming up at point zero zero one five. It was. Uh, hand polished on a on a belt so um, it's not exactly the most accurate thing but uh, in trained hands I, I suppose it is but um, this one looks okay the second rod in looks okay but the first one is a little bit a little bit on the thin side it looks uh, it looks like it's thicker um, yeah, it looks more close to 0 .001, but it's a little less. So, it's better than it was before, and it's just right on the margin. Really, really, really close. It, which would explain why this one was spinning more freely uh, on the uh, lubrication test than, uh, than this one. And uh, I don't know what to do, because the machine shop's an hour and away, and I just can't keep taking it back, so... I'm not sure if I should just run with it like this or not, but uh, it's close. It's uh, it's really, really close on these uh, first two rods. So I'm gonna continue on and uh, check the rest.